another beautiful day in one of my favorite places in New Orleans. In today's vlog, I wanna discuss a little bit about my camera gear and what I use in the video production process. This is something that I get asked a lot and it's a video that I've been promising for a long time now and just haven't had the time to do until today. I did also do a corresponding article that's gonna be on my website, elementvanlife.com. I'll put a link in the description below to the article and on there you'll just find various other information about my camera gear, about what I use in the video production process and then also some Amazon affiliate links to the various products that I'm talking about this video. My main camera that I use to shoot over 90% of my video content with is my Canon EOS M. I bought the camera about six months ago and I really haven't looked back since. Guys, I absolutely love this camera. It is incredibly powerful for video. It's not really good for still photography, so if you're a photographer that's trying to just like take pictures or do like action photography or something like that, I definitely recommend that you look elsewhere. This was Canon's first hack at the mirrorless market and they they miss the boat with the whole autofocus thing and, and making a camera that can take pictures. But for video, it can be really great, especially when paired with Magic Lantern. Magic Lantern is an open source firmware hack for Canon cameras. I'm not gonna go into detail about it, but what it does is it essentially unlocks a lot of very powerful video features that can really improve the quality of the content that you're producing from this camera. It almost makes it comparable to higher level cameras like the Blackmagic Pocket Cinema or the Canon 80D. Obviously, it's not the same thing, but you can get pretty close for a fraction of the cost of those cameras. The main reason why I went with this device, I got it for under $200 used. You can find them out there for pretty cheap, sometimes even $150 for the body only. And you're not going to find them new, obviously, because they haven't been around for so long. But for a used device, that's pretty dang good. And it, and it can produce some professional level video, even though it's a lot cheaper than those other cameras. I own three lenses total, but I currently find myself using only two of them on the regular. The main one is my Canon EF-M 18 to 55 millimeter. This thing is great because of its compact size. One of the best things about the EOS M is its size overall compared to like a traditional DSLR. It's so much smaller than those things and the lenses that go along with the EOS M are also really tiny. This thing, 18 millimeters is a great range for when I'm walking around talking to myself in public like a crazy person. It's it's awesome because it's a wide enough angle that I can get my surroundings and also get myself in the shot really easily. But then it's also nice because it has the 55 millimeter range as well. So I can zoom in, get a tighter shot, say when I'm out exploring a new city or I'm out on a hike or something like that. It's really nice and that's why I use it 95% of the time. The other lens that I have is my Canon EFS 55 to 250 millimeter lens. This thing is great because it's a long range lens obviously. So I can use it for like action videography, surfing in particular, this thing comes in hand. Andy. But then also say if I do go on a hike and I'm at an overlook, I can get a long range shot, a tighter shot of something, and that's also really nice as well. What's neat about the EOS M is that it also has adapters to a lot of other different kinds of lenses. So my telephoto lens isn't actually designed for the EOS M, but I can use this adapter here, which you can get for 50 bucks or so, stick it on there, and then it can basically work with any EFS lens out there. So all the traditional Canon DSLR lenses can work with my camera as long as I have this little adapter. The third lens that I have is one that I'm guilty of not using enough. It is the EFM 22 millimeter pancake lens. It's really tiny, which is really awesome. And it's also pretty powerful because it can open up to F 2.0. So you can get really shallow depth of field and do a lot of really cool things with it. I've even used it for like astrophotography before, but it's just, like I said, it's kind of a pain to not have that zoom option when I'm on the go. So I just don't find myself using it enough. The rest of my camera rig for vlogging is pretty simple. I've got the Rode Video Micro for audio. I decided on this one because of its compact size. It's also a little bit more affordable and it plays well with the EOS M. So I've really actually enjoyed it so far. I haven't had any issues with it. I definitely recommend it. It's a great little microphone. And then I've also got the Joby Gorilla Pod, which I use when I'm on the go. I use it to hold the camera out in front of me like I'm doing right now. And then also it's nice because I can attach it to various things while I'm out exploring a town or a city and I can get shots that are still, that I, that I don't have to worry about the camera moving too much or anything like that. 
The other camera that I find myself using regularly is my drone. I've got the DJI Mavic Pro. I did make a video about it when I first got it a few months ago. I'll put a link at the end of this video so you guys can check out that one if you haven't already seen it. I'm not going to go into too much detail about it, but the big reason why I chose this drone is because it is really small. It's got a great compact size. It's a high quality camera, so I'm able to take it with me wherever I want to go, and it's really easy to travel with. I don't currently own a GoPro, so the EOS M and the Mavic Pro are really the only two cameras that I'm using right now. Occasionally I will use my LG G4, my smartphone, if I don't have the EOS M on me, but those two are really the main devices. I hope this video was helpful for some of y'all who've been asking about what I use in the video production process. This pretty much applies not only for the vlog, but for everything that I do for work for clients on the side, and just projects for fun as well. In terms of editing, I use Adobe Premiere Pro to do all of my editing and I think that pretty much sums it up. Thanks for watching guys. I'll talk to y'all in the next one.